Alright, let's try out some Massive Chalice. I've been looking forward to trying this game for some time, and now I get to. Massive Chalice is actually early access right now. But I supported it on Kickstarter Wii back in the day, and I can play it. So, let's start up something. Well, the name is right. Thematric or non thematric? I'm feeling a little bit of both. I also want to be problem. It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. I just started this let's play. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. H Hail. Rejoice. I'm rejoicing! Let bellow the horns of birth! Exit horns of birth. Continue. Right. I know how strange all of this looks, but there's an easy... Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... <laughs> of battle every time Those fine sound... we'll have to do this later Those sound the like cannons the horns of is attacking heroes jump in seriously get in there the ruler will be with you shortly and off they go we'll explain later we just need you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. Well, they are not just a giant talking but chalice. But the nation will polite, listen though. to you because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never huh? leave the throne. But do what? not despair. Can still command your heroes. Well, at least Look I'm a inward, chair. and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. Well, that's something, I suppose. You see your heroes yet? Yeah. Great. Now, take command and search the area. The cadence is out there somewhere. Oh crap! Um, I accidentally. Clicked right through the. Oh, that was the controls. Um, hold on. You'll find this. Ah, yes. Here it is. Uh, I don't have skills. Use, yes, that's quite handy. Change camera. Move camera. Oh, okay. Hero info. Zoom the camera or, or orbit camera. Center on a hero. Select and confirm. Okay, okay, this is easy. Ah, yes. Okay, I'm feeling a bit of XCOM in this. If you haven't played XCOM, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. What do we have ah, here? We found one of our alchemists. A brilliant mind in a delicate body. Not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up for it with their nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for friendly fire. The explosions are big, so aim well or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. I totally want to be the one throwing these. Alchemists. Who are all under the age of 21. Here you have the hunter. Attacking at close range is good, but attacking from afar, where one can think and plan, is better. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? Okay, so I have a bunch of progressant little children to go fight shadows. Fantastic. They scout, huh? Let's test that theory. Can't. Stealth move. Sneak to a tall environment object to blend in and hide things. Oh, 
Oh, and you, then, then you have to choose a spot where you'd be hidden. Fascinating. I'll stealth it. Whoosh! I am like the wind. Watch me so. I'm going to move you completely out of cover because I'm a jerk. Ah. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Okay, I can actually look at someone. Giraffe. Oh, female, Sarah Giraffe. Eh, because your house name is Giraffe. And that's funny. Okay. Strength, crap. Armor, crap. Dexterity. A bonus. It's still crap. Evasion. 2%. Test. At least they're smart. So they'll know when they're about to die. Sight. I don't know why their sight's reduced. Traits. Nearsighted. Because. Decreased sight range. Because that's. She needs glasses, of course. Brainy, increased intellect. Fantastic. Persona sluggish, reduced evasion against ranged attacks. Status, young age, increased dexterity and fertility. Decreased intelligence and intuition. That's just insulting. This guy's young age looks like a monk. Fiery red. Decrease max health. Fantastic. But bountiful. Sickly, but bountiful. Dim witted. Always what you wanted in an alchemist. My god. These guys are suicidal. Asthmatic. I am fighting with... Oh god. Asthmatic, nearsighted, dim-witted alchemists. Oh, we are so effed. I should just... I do want to see the hunter. I think they can find a smaller crossbow. Evasion, deck, strength, accuracy, spine. Increased chance of having daughters? I wonder why. Hunter actually seems pretty cool. The rest are probably suicide magnets. Hmm. 
That's not happening. Everyone, go rushing straight at the enemy. This seems like the Caden's cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. That could have been avoided. That could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the Cadens. But because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. Please hit. Cool. Your turn. Don't miss. You did. You did. Took half of you, but about you... that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. Um, a lapse. Has nothing but ability to. <laughs> Please shoot. I have two attacks on me. That guy's gonna die. He's lost 150 experience points each time he's hit. Ah, this is the dim-witted one. That would explain much. Oops, oops. I want you to move up here. Then shoot them from very close range. Pew! Oh, dear God. Oh, we are effed. Why would I want my bombs, my melee fighters, to move up there? And the guys who aren't good at melee, I should say. Sorry, why are you slow?
optimistic. Because you're just slow. You're like a decrepit old man at the age of... 21. I'm not going to have you spawn children. You can lead from the front. <laughs> Is that bad? Alright, we're gonna do this still. You, dim-witted and sickly one, <laughs> just hide. <laughs> there is nothing else you could possibly do at this moment. Good one. Not failing. I approve. Seems to show the damage in the bottom right on if I throw a bomb or if I try and stab someone with a thrower. Which really seems like a good idea. It was bound to happen sooner or later, so... You should get used to this now. There'll be a lot more before we're done. Remember, they're fighting for something bigger than themselves. Persevere and honor their sacrifice. I'll try, but God, that guy was stupid. I know you're there! For the science. Best achievement. Oh, okay, on the left side it shows a invisible square here, and a square inside of it, and if you used the one of your move action things, you stop using the other. The words make more sense. Just shut up. Seeds. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more useless than this. Good riddance, you deplorable beast of pestilence! Deplorable beast of pestilence, yes! You do. I'm sorry, I shouldn't let you sprint because you're old! this whole accuracy thing shortly. 
For the meantime, forward! Attack them. your attack. I'll admit I'm unimpressed. I am annoyed though. Very annoyed. Enjoy! You have a fifty cent. Fifty. Made of the inability to hit something. Your accuracy is seventy five percent. Yeah. Trace evasion is one hundred times. The bombs not count as ranged attacks. Are they just something else? Something great. Something more powerful than I've ever imagined before. Oh, you know, I'm not entirely convinced these guys are bad at the melee. Punch him in the back of the head. Do it. Same chance of shooting either one of them, so. What the heck? Yeah, we all thought that would happen. You're zero for three on a 50% chance, I just want you to know. Yeah, we didn't expect you to that. So that's it. Let's change we finish this. For Lothar! Just take the beating and hit him back. Ooh, rah, rah. That went better than I expected. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Individual XP for kills, overall mission XP, valiantly died, got some levels on these two. Um. Okay. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the Cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. It's really quite a miraculous process, wherein we harness the properties of- The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. And with all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the Cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. I rescued a keep. The keeps. 
bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here, you will appoint one hero as a regent, and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities, too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. I have nothing but hunters and alchemists. I'd like to get something else. That's really intelligent. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. We've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers, either. They deserve better than that. Right. They'll have it. Trying to find something that looks like a decent match. I'm playing matchmaker now. <sighs> when did this game turn out to be a dating sim? We'll go with her. Many happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh?
Tall Horse Manor. Stand tall, stand proud. It's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. Now then, please right. join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. Cool. Heroes. Other heroes. Learn in standard and origin, so that's experience game. Heroes and okay. Sage Rites. We have not entered any heroes to Sage Rites Guild. Point Sage Rites and Origin accelerate our research trainings. Assist. And he will be mourned. But he was really dumb. Hmm. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines. But don't shun the other possibilities. With your approval, we can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit. They will never see combat again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Veil. Haste Hooch. Stop the baby girl on the board, recruit a new hero. I think I'm a little bit. Oh, yeah, one more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet, but your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will, but we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a Cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. I sleep. The sleep of the... Oh, no. Baby popped up. I'm up. I'm up. It's been like... Took you the two years. of birth. A cause for celebration indeed. Babies have been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? <laughs> what, unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? That's your idea of glorious. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is.
How's it going up here? How's the baby making? You made a baby alchemist. Why am I not surprised? Another baby. Apparently they're popping up girls. I'll pick up the here. It always feels weird accomplishing something without having beaten it into submission. Mm hmm. Should have seen my books after I was done with them. Let's go see if I can't learn something. Apparently I'm birthing an army of women. Gotta know, what does the different stats mean? those stats right back in. make the babies well I'm certain the women's rights guilds will want me to install a woman into this stage makes sense I like the one who's extra smart. Really don't want to pass on those traits to anyone ever. And that's not helping.
being optimistic seems to be bad. <laughs> Plus being nervous. Well, he's more inside. Ah, what the hell? Let's go. Happy marriage. Fine, learn something new. In this dry, dusty land, we will forge you. Four heroes. Go on. Get to it. Four children! I get it. Finally, some action! As you have no doubt surmised by now, it takes time for the Cadence to create its pawns. So they're only able to attack every few years. Unfortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence, either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely, and... Blow the horns! Yeah! The horns do kind of add something to it, I must say. Research time is counting, I'm not worried. Do you feel it? That little tingling in the air before a fight? I know they do. Here is where you can make any last minute substitutions or preparations before you deploy your heroes to battle. And once you give the word, they'll jump in, and we'll handle the rest. Make sure they close their mouths when they jump. Why? That's a right. So I'm going to have sex because I really wow. All my girls come. Well, they're young, so they can have lots of kids. Get some experience. Dang, this is not easy to choose! Everyone has heart disease in this family. I, I'm sorry, I just don't want to continue your legacy of heart disease. It's the number one killer in America. And asthma. Heart disease and asthma. She has asthma too, doesn't she? Oh, 
what the hell? Everybody here? All good? Okay. Now hit them fast before they know what's happening. What? They rush into battle, no concern for their own safety, knowing that as soon as they come upon their prey, they'll explode into a corrosive mess of pain and suffering. Even in death, they still hurt their enemies. It's beautiful. And disconcerting. These guys move. That is burning hot. Fantastic.
I'll be hiding like right here. Got to end each turn individually.
for the suit, that's a bad spot. So it's like undo what I just did, huh? Played. Joke's on you. I don't think that guy's got that much experience. Fantastic. I know nothing about you. Cute. Archers going here. <laughs> of course you did. Because screw me. <sighs> Sucks to be me today. Oh, you missed. Sucks to be you. Who's the one I was really interested in again? I'm totally lost. Direct the slow strong so hand. Her. I like her level two.
We'll argue. to get off of the acid. Oh, mother. Is the Avenger thing? What's that do? Increase damage to the death and ally. Okay, so if I bomb you, I will do 8 to 10. If I go up and stab you, I will probably off you right there. She got to level 2. I thought you did level 2 too. Did I miss someone over here? It's impossible. Maybe someone back in the corner. I've got some searching to do with my enemies.
Alrighty then, what to do next? Gotta find these guys. Gotta find these guys. Run forward with reckless abandon. Discover my enemies. Oh, there he is. What's your move? Three. Well, that's kind of disappointing. This means a four. Up together. So much. This is not Crap. That being the exact opposite of what I wanted. Get asthma? Good. I really can't afford to get out here. Remember okay. the fallen and let's carry on. Okay, that was close. Most of them ended up level two, one, three. Wow. Awesome. There are bonuses to the far out regions. Crap, that sucks.
They're age 8, and they have higher levels than most of my current... Wow. Wow. Of course, they're all albinists. What? I think I'm going to have to call that one here. Um, it seems that I have barely any heroes left. No one's giving me kids, because I mostly have males. Um, I accidentally gave two keeps to the same family, so even though they give me lots of alchemists, or at least did, before I ran out of women... That sounds so bad. <laughs> um, before I ran out of daughters to marry off <laughs> not any better <laughs> um look if i marry off those two houses with each other it's basically incest <sighs> it doesn't sound good anyway i put it um well we're basically screwed on this one i think we've learned a valuable lesson that when you're battling the forces of evil incest is a bad idea Eh. Well, I can definitely say it feels a lot like XCOM, although I'm not as attached to any one particular unit because they can at most fight like a war when they're 17 and then another one when they're 50 and then they die. So, not certain what good it is to hold on to any one particular person. Although it is really cool when you have that one unit and they're all awesome and powerful, but then die. So that kind of sucked. But for the most part, Massive Chalice. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, I would definitely check this one out if you can get access to the early beta or wait till it always till it completely releases like I prefer to do. Peace.